and welcome to the University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. Today we will work with creating layer groups within Adobe Photoshop. What is a layer group? Well think of a layer group much like having a virtual folder in your layers panel where you can place similar or related layers into just like you would a photo or filing cabinet at home or setting at your desk. This also gives you the opportunity to close the folder when you don't need it and to keep your content safely tucked away and out of sight. If we look at my layer panel, we see even though I've gone through and renamed many of the layers, there's still quite a few layers to sort through. In fact, it looks like there's a lot of layers in their document, but there's even actually more layers than we see. You may have also noticed that I've added some layer groups one which I named stamp. We also know that it's a layer group because of the folder icon located to the left of the group name. By default, to open a layer group simply click on the small triangle icon to the left of the folder icon. To turn a single layer off or on we click on the layer visibility icon, the eyeball located on the far left of the layers panel. We can do the exact same thing with each layer group. Each group has its own visibility icon. Notice the UK icon on the top left corner. If I turn the the visibility icon off, notice the icon will temporarily disappear. Now let's create a new layer group. Left click on the topmost layer. Hold down the shift key and click again on the bottom layer. This will select both layers plus any layer in between the two. Notice how both layers will now move together. Now press the Ctrl and G key to create a layer group or folder. Left click on the triangle icon to open the new group folder. Double click on the layer group to type in the name of your new layer. Let's go ahead and create several more layer groups. Once again, if I left click on the show hide icon, it will either hide the group layer and all its contents or display the group layer. Now with my layers grouped, it becomes a more efficient way of moving groups objects instead of moving one layer at a time. Another really cool feature is that we can now create groups within groups. Once again, I can select the show hide button to hide or show the master group. Now with my groups placed in a master group, it becomes a more efficient way of moving my groups around instead of moving one group at a time. Thank you for visiting the University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. For more information, please visit our website.